chairman of National Water Harvesting and Storage Authority. I'm here on behalf of the, our CS and on behalf of the ministry to come and evaluate the farm we have gone with you, madam. This is a project of the government and it's under the, the better transformative government agenda in which we want to offer food security and the water for our people. Umba Dam will cost 1.9 billion, that's what it will cost the government. And we thank even our development partners who are coming in to ensure that this initiative is fulfilled. So far, we thank the parliament. They have already allocated around 250 million. And uh, this project is going to be officially opened by the president or commenced by the president any time from now, mostly in the month of March. We are going to talk to the right offices and ensure that the president comes allowed as he visits this county and the project is going to be launched. We believe in involving everyone in, every, everyone in developing our nation. So we are here in Kitui County to develop this area and to ensure that uh, our government or our citizens get enough water both for consumption and for irrigation. So we thank you, the area leadership, especially the area MP, for taking this initiative and to welcome us the day to day. We have gone loud, we have gone through the project, and we have seen the far the project, what has been done in the project. And we are sure now we need to tie our shoes and move very fast. Thank you. The, we thank the contractor for the good start, and we pray that even for the remaining days, we are going to do our right. Thank you, Nambari Kivanabu. Uh, we've come here to come and access how the project is going on, and we are happy with the way everything has been done. We've given the contractor uh, a time of two years to make sure he completes, and we are, as the board of the chair, we are going to be very strict on the timelines because we want this project to be completed so that the, the, the citizen and the people of this place can enjoy the fruits of, of their government and their taxes that they are paying. And this also uh, goes into and with what the is the president has promised about food security. Because once this project is done, when the dam is already completed, uh, the people around here will love to get water and water for irrigation. And uh, that will enhance the food security in the country. Uh, Again, we are happy that our area MP, Honorable Dr. Makali, is here and also being the deputy uh, chair of the budget will assist us so that we can get resources on time so that we don't have any other delays that will make this project to delay. Because the more we delay the project, the more our people suffer for no reason. So we we'll request Honorable uh, Dr. Makali through our chair to make sure that he assists us in parliament to give us the funds to assist in completion of this project. Uh, otherwise, so far, I think what the work that has been done before is, is, is quite enormous. The most basic things has been done. I think the project uh, through the chair must be uh, is around 58 to 60 percent complete. So we have only around 40 percent to completion, and we'll strive to make sure that in that two years. As our Excellency the President has promised, uh, we want to work. And uh, we also request you, the local, uh, and also as a team of strategy and technical to our chair, we've insisted that non technical uh, works be given to the locals. And I'm happy that the local leadership is here so that they will plan and make sure each, vigil, each village is well represented. Have fairness because in our, in our organization, we always talk about fairness. So make sure you have fairness. And we ask that whoever been employed also, let them work uh, so that whatever they earn is rightfully what they worked for. Thank you so much. This is CKP Central. So it's a pleasure also for me. For this day, we have our board from Nairobi uh, together with our area MP, Honorable Dr. Emile Makali, and also the 
committee which is representing the committee which represent the community, the security who are here with us, the cow fraternity, and all people who are here. I'm also privileged to have gone round. We have seen that uh, uh, the, the first contractor really did a lot of groundwork, especially on the infrastructure. So I think uh, the second contractor is on the side. foundation and so forth eh, has already been done. So it's our hope that for the time period, for the contract period, within the two years, the contractor will be able to finish. And I also want at this juncture to also appreciate the government for this initiative of the revival of this uh, dam, which is very crucial and important for people uh, in Kitui especially the Changwidia, Changwidia West, the Changwidia East Ward. Yes. So I just also want to appreciate our member of parliament because I know he has a lot of interest and also I know he wants to see that uh, the success of this uh, project. So I just want also to call upon the residents of this area to really support this project. It's, uh, it's theirs, all of us, we need to own it because it's for, all of our, for our own benefit. So we need uh, to join hands and ensure that there is smooth, uh, especially during the construction period, that they will be, everything will go on smoothly. We don't anticipate any problems and we also assure the contractor that we will support him in terms of security and so forth. So with those few remarks, I just...